Memorial Designer already has a quick button for adding um, beveled text. If I just click on it here, you'll see that it shows a bit of sandblast depth, or it simulates anyway the sandblast depth. But another thing that you can do with bevels is something like this look over here. Um, you can actually make it look more raised and um, something that you can do on a laser etching. So if I were to take this instead and switch it to jet black, now these are the steps that it takes to go from this to this. If I open up the bevel docker, you'll notice here that it's got a certain light and direction and altitude settings. And if I click on this one, same thing applies, it's just got different settings. So all I need to do is copy those same settings or change the settings that I've got. So for this one, I would do the uh, intensity at 100, my direction, um, I can switch over here to about 120. My altitude will bring that down to 30. And then my shadow color, I'll change to 50. Enter. And now that I've got those changed, I just hit apply, and it will then change that. Um, the underlying text, however, was black, and I need to change that to white. So I'll just come over here and left click on white, and now it's got that uh, same look to it. In order to get the outline, and then this other outline here, so the text itself, what we'll do is we will contour it with the contour tool. If it's grayed out here, that means that you've actually got the bevel selected. So we'll come over to Object Manager and click on just the text, make sure not the text and bevel is selected. So with just the text selected, we can do an outside contour and have uh, white for our outline and, and fill colors there. So that gives us this outline, and then if we just want to outline the um, the text black itself as well, we just select the text, double click here on the outline, and then we're just going to change this to like an eighth of an inch and click OK with a black, and that'll give us our black outline. So now we've got that same look. If we were to show this on a stone, so I've, I've got one already laid out here, if we take that text and show it on a stone, we can, once we've got the text created, all we have to do is swipe it and type in what we want to type in. So now we've got the name Johnson on here really nice. Um, another thing with today's technology is you don't even have to be white anymore. So if I were to take this text and go back into the bevel docker, um, I could change my light color to something else. Let's say I wanted to show something a bit more like gold. And hit enter, and then hit apply, and then that will apply that to the text. So with, uh, I mean, you could paint it that way, or you could um, do your glass art technology to uh, to do that as well. But you can do all sorts of cool things with uh, bevel effects. Because we're just applying an effect to the text itself, we still have full control over that text. So if I were to come and zoom in here, now this font is not one that I, it's not a regular monument font that I would already have kerning pairs for. So I could come in here and individually kern each of these letters if I wanted to, um, to make my spacing look a little bit nicer. Um, but all of this is possible because it's just an effect applied to actual text. Once we had that done and we had our um, our bevel the way that we wanted it to, we could also and then apply that same bevel to the rest of the text. We just click on each of the pieces we want to do and hit apply. And also because this is done in Corel Draw with uh, Memorial Designer and um, the way that I've done my etchings as well is all in pieces. So if I didn't want to have that dog in my etching anymore, I could take that out. Or if I wanted to take this pheasant and make it a little bit larger and move it over or whatever I wanted to do, I've got control over that sort of stuff as well. So you can do all that within the same file all um, really nicely. You don't have to send it out to another program or redo anything in order to have it all production ready.